we get to the chorus, I might look at his lyrics and decide that um, it needs a chorus that has a different beat, a different word layout from the verse. And um, I'll mention that to him and he'll either come up with a chorus or I might add a chorus to his song. And the same with my lyrics, I'll give my lyrics to him and um, he might come up with a chorus or a bridge, etc., and so forth. And once we get the lyrics done, we um, then start to, I'll grab an acoustic guitar and we will start going over the songs and um, basically, uh, you know, start finding the right, the right music for each lyric. Usually we have a pretty good idea of what we want. You know, we either want a country feel, a reggae feel, a blues feel, rock feel, whatever. But um, what we started doing with this last CD is we uh, actually, you know, Hooli got behind the drum kit. I got the electric guitar. We had the lyrics in front of us. We plugged into the board and started recording us live just messing with, with the lyrics. And that worked real well. In fact, from our new album, um, at least, I, I'm not, eight, eight of the songs, say, were actually the, the foundation, the rhythm guitar and the drums are Hooli and I, after sitting, say, for an hour, Hooli and I finding that right feel, that right type of music for those lyrics. And what that lent to the CD was a real natural live feel overall. Um, so either way, anyway, number one, we get all of our lyrics ready. Sometimes I may have the music already written um, and I'll try to take lyrics that Julia has written or, or I'll come up with the lyrics later myself. But um, get the lyrics done, of course, come up with the music. The next thing we do is we try to get the drums the drums on, on there first. And if we can do that live with me on bass or me on rhythm guitar, we prefer to do that because it just, at least there's something going on live right there from the start, which will, again, really help to add to that feel later on. Um, so, been, oh, I'm sorry. So that really helps give you the live feel in the studio versus how you did the, the live feel is very important. Of course, we've done some songs in the past where um, I would lay down a bed on the sequencer and then we would just, uh, after laying down the bed on the sequencer, that which would have, you know, sequenced drums, bass, and a keyboard, um, then we would just have the drummer come in, play along with that, you know, go to the bass, go to the guitar, whatever, which works. I mean, there's certainly no, nothing wrong with doing that, but you just have to be careful. You don't lose that live, loose feel. Um, Speaking of live, let's uh, take a break right here, okay. and we'll come right back with more on that. Okay. Thanks for joining me, Jim. I appreciate it. Thank you.